Hey yo! Excuse the hair, cause um, I'm gonna be brushing it out into a slightly more teased look in a little bit. And I just wanted to quickly recreate a look that um, I showed on Instagram stories over the weekend and a lot of people were requesting for it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use the Shu Uemura Light Bulb Foundation today. My shade is 764 Medium Light Beige. And I'm actually gonna use the Hourglass um, Buffing Brush, Foundation Buffing Brush to get that onto the skin. Patting just removes any brush marks that you missed. Just dotting a little bit more foundation everywhere where I need maybe slightly more coverage. By Terry Stilo Click Stick. It's just one of those quick, high coverage sticks. If budget allows, I highly, highly recommend this. I'm using shade 2. powder very light today, no like baking or anything because um, it's gonna be a long day and no matter how long wearing or you know how much makeup you cake on, some of it's gonna wear down, some of it's gonna fade away and the only difference is how easy it is to touch up on top of it at the end of the day. If you over powder, it's all gonna be a cakey mess if you try to apply more foundation or concealer on top of it, you know, at the end of the day. Just gonna use a Wayne Goss 02 brush to very lightly dust my Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder on top. leave the outsides of my face bare because I don't think it needs powder, I'm dry in those areas. I didn't really do any bronzing on the day or anything like that, it just went straight to blush because um, it was a very, well not goth look but uh, with the really 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 dark lips and blue hair your whole face will kind of look like it's a bit set of colour and life. So I did quite a strong flush on the cheeks. Uh, Benefit Havana. I think I used MAC well dressed on the day. You know, just use a soft pink that makes you look healthy and pretty. Not too brown, not too deep. It doesn't look like it here, but uh, the pink blush actually is a little bit more intense and I would normally wear it. Adding just a touch of um, Laura Mercier's new pomegranate on the peaks of the cheeks. 
just to intensify the color. Can look a little bit crazy, so going over with a little loose powder. I did go in slightly closer to the nose as well, just for a more doll-like look. It's like the flush, very Japanese style. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my brows. Uh, Shu Uemura Heart Formula 9, I think this color is seal brown. My brows were not a statement, you know, I'm just filling them in and tidying them up. I will be the light in your life, your Gel. I'm just gonna tidy up the hairs. It's nothing too complicated. like super super simple I just used my by Terry bronze moon and uh, I'm just gonna do it with my um, Maybelline color tattoo in back to the bronze today because they are very similar color so I'm just gonna show you that it's interchangeable if you don't have um, an eyeshadow stick you don't have to stick with that <laughs> I do go up above the socket line and blend it out so it fades upwards. The usual stuff. It's optional uh, with the uh, by Terry stick. I just ran it along the lower lash line as well. Uh, don't have it with me right now. So you can use either a soft brown pencil, even your brow pencil, or well, whatever you have on hand, you know, just to add some definition along the lower lash line. I'm using uh, Maman's Creamy Eye Color Balm in number eight Sweet Cocoa. This is just a soft, sort of a tan brown shade. In your soul, I'll be there. You want some shape, but not a very hot, dark definition. Focus, I will be the light in your life. And no hard lines. I'm going to be the upper lashes as well, just to balance it out. The other thing I used was the um, Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette. This, I actually end up using more of the matte shades in here because I love the formula of the mattes. And um, 
um, I'm just using the dark brown. A little bit more definition in the outer corners. Not too much. You, know, you don't want like a full-on smoky eye. It's just supposed to be like a dreamy, soft brown eye that's gonna complement the really dark lips, but not take attention away. You can go without and just wear mascara as well, but um, depending on your features, uh, that sometimes will just make your eyes sort of disappear into the rest of your face when you wear a dark lip. Showing more colors. They have a new limited edition one out uh, this year with the Mamaison du Chocolat collection. Uh, before I do my mascara, I'm going to add just a tiny tiny bit of this soft peachy shade metallic in the center of my lid. A little bit more dimension in the middle of the eye. I don't want it too dark. This sort of lifts and brightens the whole eye. Even if you have monolids, when you close your eyes and blink, um, your eyes just look more 3D because it's dark on the outside. It pops in the center. Last bit, a little bit of brown matte liner. Just along the base of the lashes. Because no matter what, you want your lashes to look thick. Golden. I will find a light in your soul. I'll be there. I'll be there. Never leaving you in the darkness. Even when you're out of focus. I will be the light. Okay, I'm just using my Maybelline Total Temptation mascara today. Because it's nice and fluffy looking. But not too crazy. For the lips now, um, I did a little bit of a mixture of um, two matte supreme shades by Shu Uemura, uh, but I ended up just touching up with one shade over the rest of the day. So this is the one that I'm going to put on today. It is MBR02, brown 02. This is a really dark chocolatey burgundy brown. Go in with um, the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner in Red or Wine. So this is actually going to go around the edges to tidy up before I add on the second coat of the liquid lip. step correct, your lip shape will stay pretty perfect for the rest of the day. And you should only need to touch up colour around the insides, you can just leave the outsides alone. I think I don't really need a second coat, but why not? Okay, here's a trick to touching up sometimes. You don't need to go on with a ton of product again if it's just worn away in the middle, uh, if you've been drinking or snacking a little bit. So just take a teeny tiny bit 
start around the center. Do this. Your lip color will never look too thick or too heavy or too cakey. Don't over apply. And that's it for the face makeup. I think I'm actually going to leave my hair as is for the time being because it needs to last the whole day. So I don't want to loosen up the waves too early in the morning. Uh, but all I did to get that very teased cloud of matte hair look is to take a tangle teaser and then just very lightly brush it over the top layers of your hair. You get that really almost 80s teased look. And if you have um, pastel or very light hair, it just kind of looks like a cloud floating around you, which is really, really fun. Anyway, short and sweet, I'm off to the office. And then um, tonight I'm going out with my dad for his birthday dinner. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you again soon.